Well, it's come in a bit of a ropey looking box. Uh, looks like it's been battered about a bit. Yeah, but the reel's turned out okay. First impression? Well, it's a cheap reel. <laughs> I don't know how much you can say about them, really. The finish, the silver finish on it, is probably the clue that it's not your most expensive tackle item you're ever going to get. Uh, but it's a tidy, well-proportioned reel. That's the first uh, thing you notice. And also that bail arm looks quite thick. Uh, normally that's a, a giveaway for something that's so cheap when it's all thin, but that's, that's not bad at all, actually. It doesn't come with any line. You wouldn't expect it to for 15 quid. And the handle's quite tight. Tightens up all right, but initially I'm looking at that bail arm. It looks quite good quality, actually, quite thick. The actual metal part of the bail arm uh, is good quality, and then the roller part of that as well looks quite good. So it's a 2,500 size reel, and that's looking at about that in grams as well for weight. Uh, diameter of the spool and width of the uh, real seat there 1566 if you want to compare that to your, your rod and looking at it this is going to be ideal for sort of lure fishing in the sea um, I know they're designed as coarse rods but for lure fishing in the sea, this would be quite good as well. Yeah, typical diara mechanics there. The one thing I'm checking for here is the slack. So reeling round and see what that you reel it one way, and then when you move it back, what the give is and what the slack is on the return. Obviously, there's a little bit of a bump there, and again, you wouldn't expect anything more really for 15 quid. Yeah, it feels reasonably good. like it'll have a good even lay. We'll, we'll get this out um, fishing, put some line on it. I'm going to put braid on this I think. And there's your little give there. It's a little bit of slack when you backwind it. It seems to be a little bit meaty though on the bail arm which is good. That's a very definite clicks there. The spool tends to loosen up a little bit on the drag. I mean, not until I've actually caught some fish on it, you won't be able to tell how good that drag is, but just out of the box, um, that's absolutely fine. I don't think we'll have any problems with that. I wonder if I can trust that flicking shut. I think that's pretty solid on there. I gave it a few little shakes. It takes quite a bit to override it. There we go. How much more can you say? <laughs> 15 quid. Yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, I'll leave um, a link in the description and um, might be worth getting one. Maybe as a spare reel if you fish a lot. And we'll see how that one lasts with the salt water.